So we're doing this, what's called virtual, and I can see a lot of you. We have the mechanism to see at least 800 of you that are sitting in your living rooms. See my friends in Buckhead right now, fancy, drinking wine with a broken wrist. Thank you. Thanks for your donations. And don't judge me by my face. Don't think I don't know how I look. I still have mirrors. But I am grateful that the access to independence, Georgia, by the way, that's how you will find it. It is a fundraiser for an incredible group in Columbus. Help a lot of people that, are, that, that need it. We have a great lineup, and you're going to see some wonderful entertainers, some whose names you'll know, like Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock is here, Dwight Eisenhower, the whole crowd. Michael Bloomberg is going to, actually, none of them are here. Because we really love them, but we don't need them. I'll tell you who's here right now to kick this off. Mark Sasser, April Norris, they're extremely popular, real talented, and they didn't hesitate to say, please let us be a part of the night. They're here, give them a round of applause. Kindred spirits. Mark Sasser, thank you. Thank you. And, and, and they'll be back. They're very popular. Go. Got millions of, go. mil, excuse me. April, you look great. I'm single, Bob. I just thought, I don't want to get into all that, but um, I'll see you later, Mark. Okay. So they, they're local Columbus. I love Carlos. Uh, he's all, when I, I was going to be on the Stephen Colbert show before the, COVID, as being one of the old comics, still doing the tour. And I told, and he took me to the dentist that Carlos does work with. It's a popular dentist, does a lot of show business teeth. And I said, doctor, his name was Dr. Goldstein or Bernstein, something, lip shit. And I said, my teeth are getting yellow, and I'm going to be on the Stephen Colbert show. So he looked at me, and he said, uh, do you have, yeah, we can fix the teeth so they'll be beautiful. Do you have like $80,000? I said, no. He said, then wear a brown tie. You know, so, but, but, of course, it's a combination. New York, yellow and brown, still working good. You know, I did that in 1960, and the old people laughed, and the young ones are going, what the WTI? Anyway, before I bring on the next guest, she and some of the other, what we're calling tonight the two-minute drill, I don't know if you like football, but in football, a two-minute drill means whoever goes in with two minutes to go, they're either winning or losing. If they're winning, they have to hold the lead, and if they're losing, they got to score or create a fumble interception. Nicole Sanders is the first of the two-minute drillers, and she's associated, and she works in Atlanta, in Columbus, but there's a, the uh, Springer Opera House here. For those that don't know in the audience, it's the second oldest opera house in America. It's about two blocks from this club, which is The Loft, downtown Columbus. By the way, if you ever want to do an overnight, there's no place within four hours any more fun than Columbus. But wait till there's a vaccine or get No, forget it. Just come down to Columbus. <laughs> so Nicole does something on Friday nights, as the other acts you'll see, it's called the No Shame Theater. It's probably the most eventful thing that goes on at 10.30 on Friday in any place that I've been to, including New York. It's always packed 150, 200 people. No shame means the first 16 people that are in line get to do what they want, whatever. Not just comedy, it can be music, poetry, whatever. It's some of the best I've seen and some of the worst. And I know the worst. I have a mirrors. I look in mirrors. Talking about the virus, and it's certainly s serious. This is more serious than North Carolina losing to Duke. This is the real thing. There is a virus. There are casualties. And a couple of weeks ago, friends of mine that you'll see later in the show, James Etchison, Guy Dudley, and I called them. They're new young friends, and they're comedians. And I said, I'm not feeling well. They took me to the hospital. This was on ABC. It was on NBC. It was the DVD, the DUI, the IUD. This was on every network, the BVD, NCAA. And so if you want to see. So they took me to the hospital in Columbus. I was coughing and sneezing, and my nose was growing. Hair was shrinking. Everything was. I go to the hospital about 9 o'clock at night, and they took my clothes off. And I'm lying under a sheet. 
and I had a mask. It was heavier. I've never lifted weights when I was a young man that were a mask. And the nurse comes in, and she's in part of the uh, recording crew. And she said, Mr. Farber, we're going to do a sponge bath, and you'll feel much better, and then the doctor will be in, and you're, you're going to be fine. So I said, nurse, under the mask, I said, thank you very much. But I said, could you please check to see? I think my testicles are black. And she turned around like in The Exorcist, the head spun around. And she said, excuse me? I said, see if my testicles are black. So she lifted the sheet, and she looked, and she said, Mr. Farber, you're fine. Everything looks fine. So I knew she didn't understand, and I took the mask off and said, nurse, thank you, but are my test results back? You know. Uh, thank you. If you hear this, we really appreciate your time, your energy, your eyes and ears. Stay safe.